This little kitten's name is Mike. Mike was going to be euthanized a few days ago because he has a broken pelvis. He was hit by a car and I will pop the radiograph up on the screen for y'all so you can see his pelvis is fractured in multiple places and he actually can walk. I'll go ahead and set him down on the ground. He will walk a little bit but he walks pretty funny and he doesn't walk very long because I'm sure he's pretty painful. Come here bud. You can see he kind of walks funny in the back end there, has a bit of a limp, which is to be expected. Um, but what's cool about these little kittens is they're actually really good at healing, even broken bones. Um, and we're not going to do any surgery or anything on him. We're just going to basically cage rest him, give him a little pain meds, and just rest him. We're going to keep him confined in a cage where he can't jump up and down and hurt that hip anymore. And it'll all heal up. We'll keep him for probably three or four weeks, and we'll take an x-ray when he's getting around really good and, and make sure that, that the hip's all healed up. And then he'll go on to be adopted instead of being euthanized for having just a, a, something that can be healed as easily as just waiting and watching. So we'll let y'all come along for the ride and watch this little kitty get better. So see you in probably a week or two. It's been a few weeks since we first got Mikey and he is doing much better now. I have him locked on this trampoline because whenever I have him in the yard he's just running everywhere and it's really hard to keep him near me to film a video like this. But when he gets up and walks around you'll see that he has maybe just the slightest limp, especially in that back left leg, it kind of holds it inward. Um, but he was literally climbing trees and running around all over my yard a few minutes ago. So feeling a lot better. I'm sure his bones are not all the way healed up yet. but. Um, they're definitely feeling strong, so we're going to go ahead and send him um, to a foster and to potentially be adopted because he's strong enough that uh, he's getting around fine. We don't want to keep him in a cage anymore, and we're going to just tell them, you know, kind of keep it easy and take it easy with him and, you know, don't let him go too crazy, but can't really keep a good kitten down. I mean, I, I was trying to keep him calm, and he was climbing trees a second ago, so just a happy little kitten. Once again, Mikey was scheduled to be euthanized because he had that broken hip and you can see that all we did was just board him for a few weeks and he's making a bunch of noise in that bush over there running around like crazy. Um, so easy fix and uh, we, <laughs> he's a nut. And uh, yeah, so thanks for supporting Vet Ranch so we can do things like this, save a little kitten that would be euthanized 
when all it really needs to do is sit in a cage for a few weeks and it heals up. So anyway, thanks for watching Vet Ranch. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.